Hello, hello guys, what's up, what's up, what's up everyone? Group of death, yeah, yeah, quite a group, that's for sure, we've ended up in quite a spicy group, to say the least, this year. My third Worlds, and definitely the hardest group I've been in so far, that is for sure. This group draw is, didn't really go our way, it, it did not really go our way, did it? It's, um, of course, you know, of course, we, we still have a good shot of getting out of groups and, and all, but it's, we're gonna have to put in a lot of effort to make it there, because SKC and RNG are both some really insane teams. I've gotten out of group stage twice now. 2017 in China was the first time, last year in Korea was the second one. Now we are gonna play Worlds in Europe. And I certainly don't want this to be my first time not making it out of groups. Like, we're on home soil now, we're playing from Europe, and like, it, it's gonna be hardcore. We're gonna have to fight like no before to make it out of this group, but we can make it. I feel a bit mixed about this group, okay? So, on, on one side, okay, so I guess I can go into what I feel about the groups. I guess that'll be, that'll be interesting for you guys to hear, right? So, my initial reaction, my first thoughts. Just gotta get some water first, you know, stay hydrated. I think this group can be looked at from different point of, points of views. Um, on one side, I think the group is really, really exciting and really hype in the sense that so early in the tournament, we already, you know, are going to play two really, really insane top teams. We're going to play SKT and RNG, you know, already in the group stage, because which is really, really insane. Like, you know, I've never gotten to play an official match against SKT, so now going up, up against them. Being sure that I can finally go up against SKT, going up against Fager, going up against Clit and the rest of the guys, you know, that's so exciting for me. I'm really looking forward to that as well as playing RNG because at Worlds 2017, guess who knocked us out? RNG. At MSI last year 2018, guess who knocked us out? RNG. So, maybe this time. Maybe the third time will be the charm. Maybe we can finally not get knocked out by RNG. That would be pretty pretty great. That would be highly appreciated. And of course, you know, no one knows how it goes, right? And it, it's going to be hard. And, it, you know, it, it can be looked at from different points, points of view, so, as I'm saying. Because, as I said, on one side, I'm really looking forward to play these teams. I think it's going to be really hype. We're going to go up against two of the best teams in the world. We have the chance of knocking them out in the group stage. But at the same time... We cannot make mistakes this tournament. We cannot mess up. We cannot <laughs> we, we cannot do the same as we did back in 2017. If we go 0 4, we're not making it out of this group. I can tell you that much, guys. Like we we, we, we cannot go 0 4 again, okay? That, I, I don't really think that's gonna work. So um the pressure is on. We're gonna have to step it up, we're gonna have to play our best, because if we don't play at our best, we're gonna get smashed you know that like these two teams are just gonna take us and throw us out of the window and we are out of the tournament just like that but if we do play out our best it can be insane it, it can be so exciting it can be really hype and you know if we make it out of this group maybe maybe going into quarters semis like you know because was, because then one of the top teams have already been knocked out and maybe our our way to the final can be a little bit smoother in that regard but yeah it's a bit of a an interesting one to say the least i've never been in this hard of a group that's for sure but yeah let, let's um let's look at the group door here let's look at the group let me uh let me just have a look here okay so Group A, I would be really happy if I was G2, that's for sure. G2 has quite a, a nice group, to say the least. G2, G2 is hot chilling in this group. Sure, they have Griffin, they have a Korean team, they have Cloud9, which, you know, is a pretty good team, known to do pretty well at Worlds, but they are also sure not to have a Chinese team in the group. For me personally, one of the things that seemed the most scary going into the group draw would be to get both a Chinese and a Korean team which obviously is what we ended up with right it is pretty it's pretty hardcore like these teams are they're not playing around G2 avoided that they only got a Korean team and of course they got Cloud9 again a good team they might end up with a difficult opponent um, from the playing stage as well but they cannot draw Splice they cannot draw Clutch they cannot draw Damwon Things seem pretty, pretty good for G2, if you ask me. I think G2 is, is in a really good spot here. Group B, by far the easiest group. Like, there, there's not really much discussion here. Is there, like, Group B, you know? Group B seems really chill. Like, if I am Fun Plus Phoenix in this group, I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy. 
I think JC and Gigabyte Marine shouldn't be underestimated. In 2017, we we were very close to getting knocked out of groups by Gigabyte Marines, and they were really, you know, going up against them was not not necessarily fun, you know. Like Gigabyte Marines were really they were not playing around either. J team, they can do the same thing. They can easily be upsets. Fun plus Phoenix, despite looking so dominant, can also lose to one of these teams. But comparing to the likes of Group A to the likes of Group C, seems like a pretty easy group to me. Group D, I don't know. I mean, Group D can turn out really interesting. Because if Dam1 ends up in Group D, then it's a bit of a monka s for a team like you know team liquid like if dam one ends up in group d whew, team liquid is that's a rough one like that's whew, whew, whew. You know, that that's not fun either that uh that wouldn't be it's, uh, no no that's that's a monka s like that's that's all i can say okay but um but yeah so for me our group is very intense i did hear a lot of casters people on Twitter, where well, let's call it the group of death for a group good reason. It is a, a tough one. Group B seems like the easiest one. Group D and group A. I mean, group A seems a bit easier than group D to me, purely because Dam1 can end up in group D, but it cannot, in, you know, Dam1 cannot end up in group A. Like, if Dam1 ends up in group D, good luck, Team Liquid. Like, I, I hope you're ready because you, know, you are not getting out of this group without a big fight. And of course, Team Liquid can do that. At MSI, Liquid showed that they are. A really really good team they've shown that a lot of times but ahq ig dam one not very fun our group most likely is not gonna be fun either like what, what are we gonna have like skt ng maybe clutch who else could we end up with not even sure but i mean clutch would probably be the hardest scenario for us right i think clutch would be the the most hardcore HKA Hong Kong Attitude, you will. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, of course you shouldn't underestimate anyone, right? There's a lot of good teams in this tournament. Every team at this tournament is a good team, but... Most likely Clutch would be the, the most difficult one, right? Like, Clutch would be able to potentially upset some, some teams in this group, including ourselves, right? Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's a, it's a scary one. It's a, it's a very scary one. It's one hell of a group, a really spicy group. I would not mind being G2 right now, that's for sure. I wouldn't have minded being drawn into Group B either. I wouldn't have minded being drawn into Group D. Honestly, I would like being in any other group than our own, if it came to it. But at the same time, I'm up for the challenge. I am very down for the challenge. Because if we do make it out of this group, like then... It's big, like it's, it's actually massive. Like this is what Vitality were so close to doing last year. Vitality was in a similar group last year. Who did they have? They had RNG and Shinji, I believe. Pretty similar. They almost made it out. Like you know, if you beat one of these teams, it's already insane. You've already proven something. But if you make it out of group stage, in group with SKT and RNG, then you've proven yourself. And who knows? Maybe it's going to take at least Sin and 2 to make it there, but... So what are your predictions, guys? I'm going to make it this easy for you, right? I'm going to make it easy. And just before I'm going to say this, I just want to make it clear. There's only one right answer, okay? So make sure to think it through before you write your answer in the chat for me, okay? Are we going to make it out of this group chat? Do you believe in Fnatic? Do you believe in Europe? Or do you believe in the likes of SKT and Anji? What do you believe, chat? Don't let me down here. Yes, I see like one no, but it's like, okay, there's a few no's, but it's like at least 90% yes. The European fans have spoken. Europe will make it out. No jinxing, of course. We're not going to jinx anything here. But there's hope. There's clearly hope. I think something we can do here. Something that might be interesting. I want to take a look at the, the plane. Te playing groups quick like the playing team see see what we can end up with here there we go so now the big question is which of these teams are we most likely going to draw into our group which of these teams is the most likely one for us to draw hmm so clutch obviously is the first one that comes to my mind as well i think our chances of, of drawing clutch are 
really really big if there's an upset happening potentially we're gonna see royal youth or we're gonna see flamingo in our group as well not completely unlikely like no it, it's definitely not un unlikely like now that i think about it like for sure for sure it wouldn't be surprising if turkey or brazil actually makes it makes it to the group stage like, these teams are really really strong can they beat the likes of clutch the likes of splice not sure unicorns potentially as well could end up with unicorns of love in our group have a little double european team in there good old fanatic unicorns of love matchup not completely unlikely either but yeah i think the hardest one we can end up with considering that we cannot draw that one would be clutch for sure clutch would be really difficult and after clutch um so i'm not really sure which is strongest like i guess my the second hardest one hong kong attitude yeah i guess hong kong attitude would be pretty hardcore as well shouldn't forget about them like for sure they are they won't be they're not gonna be easy either I almost forgot about them somehow, but but you're you're right for sure. Like, but then again, like I really don't know how strong these teams are compared to each other. Like, Hong Kong attitudes compared to let, the likes of let's say Royal Youth. Like, I have absolutely no clue how how these teams match up against each other. I have no clue how these teams match up against the likes of Clutch or even even Splice. Like, I, I have absolutely no idea. It's so hard to say, but um. There's a good shot chance we're gonna draw a clutch and that would probably make it uh, the hardest possible group for us. Exciting stuff, very exciting stuff. Very, very exciting stuff. Perks tweet, let me see, what is Perks tweet? People riding Fnatic off, especially in B1s is XT. Good chance of them making it as first, first splice goes to group B and makes it as second. Woo. So Perks has officially predicted us making it out as first and splice going into group b also making it out as first and splice getting into group b and making it out as second after fun plus not unlikely definitely not unlikely the possibility is most certainly there i could see this happening man the, the world's hype the world's hype is, is coming like it, it's starting for real now i'm i'm starting to get excited like i was already a little bit excited but especially now you know it's real like it, it's happening you can you can feel that worlds is worlds is starting it's gonna be gonna be good okay guys <clears throat> i think I, I think i've gone through most of my thoughts now when it comes to the group draw still curious to see which the fourth team in our group is gonna be but i i, I We'll stick to stick to my opinion that Clutch probably would be the hardest hardest team to have in the group. Like SKC, Angie and Clutch, that seems like a pretty pretty rough one and I think Clutch could easily upset teams in this group. I, I they wouldn't be ex expected necessarily to make it out of the group, but they would for sure be able to upset, like for sure. Okay guys, at this point I think there's only one thing to do. We're gonna stop the stream. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're gonna hop in and we're gonna play some League of Legends. <laughs>